This looks almost like a turtle, so why not use the knowledge we have until now and make something out of these. I will copy one object once more to fill out this space. Since I can't with this shape, I go quickly to drawing tools, edit shape, change shape and I search for a shape which would work here. I instantly see that a trapezoid obviously would be a good choice. I make it smaller, I position it here, of course that way, longer, smaller, okay like that we have the object here. Let's color the back of our turtle really quickly. I select the entire bag, I go to drawing tools, shape fill and I select a brownish color. Once I have the color selected I go once again here to the gradient tools and we have here some light variations and some dark variations which PowerPoint has created for us. Let me choose the dark one, I think this is pretty solid and our turtle is nearly ready. I want also that our turtle has a nice eye here, so I go to insert, shapes, I click on an eye, maybe a little mouth would be also useful but right now I only want the eye, I select the first object which is in the back, I select a new eye, I go to merge shapes, subtract and we have the eye cut out inside of this object. Alright, the last thing I want to make is a little tail, I go to insert shapes once again, maybe this one should be a good one, well again I don't like this shape so I go to edit shape, edit points, I edit this point, I could delete it but I think right now it's okay, we have a nice tail, just change the fill again to a similar color like the back one is, well the color isn't perfect, I need to get rid of the outline, I make it smaller, we still should work with the colors but what you can also do without worrying about everything, I click on this shape, I go to home, format painter, I click on the format painter and I click on this object and this is everything, I just wanted to show you a quick workflow in PowerPoint that you can have much fun, create custom animations, custom objects and until now you've learned enough tools to create something like that on your own. Please continue with the course to learn more cool stuff like that. I hope you will have much fun learning because I'm enjoying to teach you this content and I see you in the next upcoming lessons.